I would always look out in the audience. I'd look out third or fourth row, and there was just one guy there who just became a fixture on Tuesday night, and he stood out, full head of hair, bleach blonde. You could just see how he would get into the match. We asked, who is this big guy? Brian said, that's Terry Bollea. He loves the business, and he plays in a rock and roll band at a spot called The Other Place. So one night, Jack and I get back from a show early. Imagine this, we want a cold beer afterwards. So we go over <laughs> the other place. You guys drink? No, not on working nights. Oh, yeah, right. Only <laughs> days in it with why, you know, that old joke. So we walk into this other place. Just imagine the scene. Here's a six foot eight, whatever Terry was at the time, and had that long bleach hair. He's standing up there in these damn platform shoes, holding this little bass guitar, which looked like a toothpick. He's cranking them out, and the people are getting with him. He's the star of the band, even though he's not the lead guy. Right. right. So this little girl that's waiting at our, our bar, we start talking to her, of course. We ask her about Terry. Oh, he's a big wrestling fan. He'd, he'd love to meet you guys. He goes every week, you know? So she sets up a little meeting, so we go back to stage after, sound like a groupie here, going backstage to meet Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> but we go backstage and meet him. He said, yeah, I've talked to my grandma, talked to Brian Blair. I love your business. I'd like to get in it one day. You think there's any spot for me? So we set up a meeting for him to come down. From Yokohama, Japan, Hiro Matsuda. The future Hulkster has the bad luck to be put in the ring opposite veteran Hiro Matsuda, one of the most feared wrestlers in the Florida Territory. OK, Matsuda is going to take you in there. He's going to work you a little bit and see what you got. Terry's a big, strong bull. He was a hell of an athlete, even though he wasn't an athlete. Terry still had that coordination, right. and he had that natural man strength. Right. He was a good baseball player. Yeah, he was a great baseball player and a good bowler. He, I think he's all state <laughs> baseball good bowler. Good bowler. <laughs> <laughs> They're athletes. He played butt, butt like unreal. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so he goes in there, and Terry's giving a little resistance. Somebody starts giving you resistance. Of course, you're going to step up your game a little bit. Right. So we see Matt Suda, he's working the leg, and all of a sudden, he drops down to the ankle. He grabs the old ankle lock on it. And you, you can see that ankle starting to go in positions that you know that that ankle's not supposed to go. All of a sudden, you hear a pop. Oh, gosh. And you hear a, a, a groan from Hogan, not a holler or anything, a groan. And Matt Suda's pushing him down. And so Terry gets close to the rope and Matsuda lets go of the hole. Terry rolls out, Terry goes to put weight on the ankle. Nothing he can do, he falls to the ground. So Jack and I go over, we help him unlace his shoe. He didn't have boots, he had right. tennis shoes on. <laughs> right. And we took his shoe off and all of a sudden that ankle's turning blue already. And right. it's already the size of a basketball. So we know he can't go back in there. So Matsuda comes over and game over, you know, workout's over with. He's done his damage. So we think this is the end of Terry Bollett. Right. So they go get him examined. It's no broken bones. So Terry comes back to the sportatorium and actually wants some more. Really? And everybody took a look at it. No, you know, come back, come back in a couple of days. And give Terry credit. Terry called every day, wanting to know when he could come back. The wow. very next week, Terry was back in the gym. And when we saw Terry getting in there and giving it everything he had, in the back of our minds, man, this kid's not a quitter. Yo, right, right. We got something here. The greatest professional athlete in the world today. Look at this. He's standing for it. Little did we know what kind of superstar he was going to become. He took it right over the top. Anywhere in the world he could go, they'd know Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan. Here's something about that. What if Hogan never came back? Would the business be what it is today? It's a great question. That's a great question.